last time I was here. And so it's good to see all of you. It's a wonderful family. And thank God that we all belong to Jesus and he loved the person of his people. And I could hear you guys doing that this morning. So I think I'm gonna, I decided I'm going to keep you guys busy this morning. <laughs> so it's a joy to be here this morning. Thank you so much, Pastor, for having me. And so this morning, uh, before I start to share a little bit of my testimony with you, I want to start with a song here. It's a acapella piece, and uh, the song is called Lady Home Instead of Lasting Animals. You can call it before, but I know it a little bit differently. And what you're going to do for me is, I'm going to see if you have greater. <laughs> so you're going to clap your hands for me, okay? So everybody's going to go like this. And keep that going. There you go. Jesus. And so this time he came. He said, How can you the woman here? I said, Well, 
I don't know where I'm going to go because my parents have not come yet. And so he talked to the principal and he said to him, Well, God led my heart to take you to my home. Would you love to go with me? I said, Yes. So he took me into his home and I stayed with him. And uh, one day we were talking and he asked me if I knew Jesus and I said no. So it was an uh, opportunity to open the scripture to me and to tell me the good news of Jesus and how he loved me and gave himself for me on the cross. And he would never leave me and he would never forsake me. And if I believe in him, I will not perish for have a lasting life. And it was just wonderful to know the, the love of God. And, and this man made a story to me and telling me about the good news. And so after that, he asked me if I wanted to receive Jesus. And I said, yes. And so I just prayed God. I know that you love me. Forgive me of my sins. I pray that uh, you come into my life. I receive you today as my Lord and Savior. And I said to the Lord, and on a Sunday morning, I went to church and was really touched by the music and uh, was touched by, you know, just the message that day. And so after church, I came home and I prayed and I asked the Lord, God, may you have blessed me. I don't want to sit around. I love to, I love music. And I said, God, you bless me with that gift of music. I'm going to use it for your glory. And the Lord miraculously blessed me with the gift of music. Uh, I had the privilege to be able to just minister across from Rodeo and everywhere the Lord has taken me. And so I just want to thank God. You know, sometimes we go through life situations and we wonder why this guy uh, in a really different situation. But, you know, God said in His word that He will never leave us, He will never forsake us. And God loves us regardless of what we have been or what has happened in our life or what we have done. If we just surrender to Him, He is able to come in and, and help us in this situation. And I believe that if I didn't uh, come to know Christ, I don't think I'll be doing music today. So God, sometimes bad things happen in our lives, but sometimes God turns around for our own good. So I just praise God in the midst of what happened to me, I thank God for His goodness and for all that He has done for me. And so I want to do a song for you guys. This is a celebration song. It's, it's a song I talk about Jesus, you know, that we're going to see Him again. And uh, it, it's, it's just a good song to know that in heaven there will be no you know, rejection or there will be no sickness. You know, all those things will not be there, but we are going to see Jesus. And so I just but the beautiful thing is that he's coming back again. And so, this is a song I want to share with you guys. And, uh, this one is called Acapella. And uh, Acapella is in the better language. And you will clap your hands again. See, I told you that when you do this. And I'm going to have Acapella clap and drum together. So, everybody go like this.
approach because now that uh, I went through the rejection, but also Nigeria went through a very terrible civil war that destroyed the country. And it was started in 1989, but that war went on for a very long time. And because of that, it had a very uh, terrible effect on our country. Uh, there's still problems with on water and electricity. There's still 85% of people who are unemployed. And it's been a tough time there, but I know you guys are giving all the Ebola situation happening. That also came from there too. And, but that passed, and I just thank God for His goodness in the midst of everything. Uh, I remember at the checkpoint during the war, my life was threatened by the rebel soldier because during the war we had like, seven different rebel factions fighting against one another, and all everybody was fighting for power, and so. There was no one that was saved, but through the grace of God, you rescued me and saved me that my life was spared. And so I just thank God for his goodness and for bringing me to the United States. Uh, I live now in Vancouver, Washington, my wife and I. And I just want to bless God for everything that he has done. And I want to, I want to encourage you today. You know, it's a crazy world we're living in today. Uh, war is still happening. And you got very hard the story that there were even Sudan with wars still going on there. But in the midst of the war, there is the Prince of Peace, and He is Jesus. And so we can we can know that in spite of everything that is happening, God is in control. You know, some we don't understand why there's a lot of feeling, why all these different things happen. But if we can just trust the Lord, He has everything in His hand. No one might not understand it, but He holds all in His hand. And so. Continue to win on this everlasting arm. Know that Jesus loves you and he cares so much about you. And again, it's just a joy to be here at this day with you, church. And I want to just encourage you. Don't give up. I don't know your situation. I'll tell you uh, what happened in my life, but I know each of you can tell a story. But the bottom line is, in spite of the storm, in spite of everything, Jesus is the beauty of the storm and he will bring you through. No matter how long it takes, you will get through. He will be with you. He will never leave you and forsake you. And so that brings us to the next song we're going to do, which is Siya Hama. Siya Hama is done in the Zulu language. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you the African part of the song. And then I'm going to see how well you sing it. I'm sure you have to sing it because I always see this morning and evening because, like I said, you are very wonderful. And so, We'll do the African way first, and then once you get that down, we'll do African and the English part. So we'll be see a and then we'll be a marching, and then we'll be dancing. And one thing I want to say is, in Africa, once we start singing that song, first we're going to rehearse, okay? But once we start to sing it, you have to be sitting down and you're still in love. <laughs> Alright, so everybody say this to me. I'll tell you. See ya, Hama. See ya, Hama. Kuka Yen Kwen Kos. Some of you are trying very hard. Yeah. See ya Hamba. See ya Hamba. Kuka Yen Kwen Kos. So just look at this. See ya Hamba. Kuka Yen Kwen Kos. See ya Hamba. Kuka Yen Kwen Kos. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to do this song. 